Welcome back. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. We are going to bridge a gap. This is a great movie, Bridge Over the River Kwai, I think it's called. Please don't quote me on that. I am probably wrong. But this hole we just created, we could fill it. Not the tool. Fill the hole. Hopefully some of you get that fill it joke. So that's how you fill a hole. But if the hole was still there, and I wanted the bottom section down here to not be touched, I wanted these two edges still to be open, not to be attached. I could bridge between here and here. And that's what this is for. Select one, side one, side two. You have to actually select. Hit OK. And it makes a bridge. Now this bridge is my worst enemy because it created some triangles. I could get rid of those. Let's try it again. Let's try here to here. Preview. Yep, still triangles. Maintain creases, still triangles. Well, it looks like I am stuck. Follow curve, nope. So I still have this hole open. That's great. Uh, what I could do is actually take this, insert point. Here's a trick. Come across my triangles, which at the bottom creates squares. And the top, delete. And then I would just fill that hole. And hopefully, it, yep, it did. It removed the triangles. It made it a bit of a bump. I can fix that just by molding it with my edit form. You can smooth it with flatten. Let's say I do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Hit flatten, and I select the fit. Uh, not too much. I could work with that, but that's just a hint. You could avoid triangles by filling holes. Bridging, it seems to like triangles quite a bit. Uh, Fusion is always developing new different techniques. This program is very, very complicated. Uh, a lot of backend stuff, so I understand why it did that. That's basically it, bridging. So the next one, uh, I actually rarely ever use this, just as a hint. Uh, look at the example they give there. It's really good at taking um, objects and connecting two objects. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Let's say... I was to take this object and cut it in half, just as an example, or take this object and copy it, just to show you. Why did I do that? There we go. So, and then I was to, let's say, take this, 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 delete, this, 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 delete. Let's say I wanted to join between this whole open section and this whole open section and create a bridge that just goes across. Well, here's a hint. And this is why bridging is a very annoying and very frustrating because I never use it for a lot of reasons. This side has, let me just count them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a point there. Six, another one there. Seven, eight. Nine. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I overcounted. Eight. Eight edges. This side has one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm too short. You have to have an equal number of edges and points. And if Let's say I put extra edges up here, while up here there's none. Then it will just drag it all down. It will try to even out all the edges as much as possible, and it won't look very pretty. So if you do bridge it, let me just show you. There's a whole bunch of points down here. One, two, three, one. Okay, so I'm going to add one point down there. I'm going to add one point down there. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight points. It's kind of similar. It's actually quite similar. This point is good for that. That point is good for that. This point is good for that. That one, that. I'm being very elementary for you. Apologies if you're getting impatient. I know you just want to have it done, but I'm going to show you exactly how it works because one point there, one point there. So it's all basically parallel or perpendicular. No, it's parallel. So let's bridge this side one. I'm going to select all of these. This is why bridging is great if you do it right, but for most objects, it's not a lot of fun. You have to add lines where they don't work. And I added sign side two over there. Throw me some errors. Now it's, it's okay. The errors were happening when I didn't have everything selected. It's saying uneven, basically. Watch. The edges from one side must be equal. It's even telling me that. All right. So I can tell you I'm teaching you right. So both are okay. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's going to be very pretty. But, bam, it's actually pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. There you go. Let's keep this. I like this. My successful bridge. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.